Major truck manufacturer Kenworth just added two new electric trucks to their already growing um, electric fleet. These two are more familiar ones. Previously, we've had the two K series trucks for medium duty work. And these next two, the T680E and T880E are class eight and are building off of existing and very popular chassis. As a longtime trucking enthusiast myself, I've been familiar with Kenworth for a long time. Uh, their Devon 900 is one of my favorite trucks ever. Um, and I love that they're bringing two of their legendary trucks to the electrified market. Now, they are only in the day cab configurations. There are, you know, most of the trucks you see on the road are what are called sleeper cabs. They have a whole bed and everything set for, you know, cross country tricks, trips. But there are also the trucks you see, you know, within the city or going, you know, town to town delivering groceries or something like that. That's where the day cabs come in and they don't need to go across the country or go, you know, 1300 miles on a single tank. So this is a good application for an electrified version. With that in mind, the range on the T680E has a, it's according to Kenworth, 200 plus miles, which is, should be perfect for getting a city to city load done. Now these come in both a day cab truck configuration, so you know, tractor trailer configuration, or what they call a straight chassis truck. And that's where you can put applications like a flatbed or a box truck, a box truck upfit, or you know, probably not for electrified versions, but you could even put like a wrecker frame on it for towing. There are many applications for these. Now, the reason why this is great is because they're entering a market that manufacturers like Freightliner have had for a little bit with their E Cascadia, also a day cab and also built on another very popular chassis. The Cascadia in general is my all time favorite truck. So let's talk about the more in depth parts of these trucks. So the specs on the T680E, um, it comes uh, in six by four, so it has to have a motor and on both rear axles, I assume. 200 plus mile range, three battery pack configuration options. Let's go through those really quick. So they have what they call the battery string configuration. The smallest one called the two string setup has 250 kilowatt hours of capacity in a range of around 100 miles. The three string setup has 375 kilowatt hours of capacity in an estimated range of 150. And finally, the four string has 500 kilowatt hours of capacity in a range of around 200 miles. Now these powertrains are also made from Pekar, who owns Kenworth, and also Peterbilt, who I'm hoping will come out with some as well, since they're technically the same manufacturer. Inside the truck, pretty close to the gas or diesel version, um, but it has a few small tweaks, like the Kenworth logo, known for its bright red, is now a light blue. It looks pretty good. Now, they have a very aerodynamic setup and, you know, aerodynamics have been a thing long before, you know, electrified start coming to the market for semi-trucks. They've had to maximize fuel mileage. So you see trucks with aero covers on the wheels, aero flaps below the side skirts, you know, the big roof caps for additional efficiency, letting air flow right onto the trailer versus just hitting the trailer on the front many, many things go into these trucks to improve their efficiency. So they almost have to do no extra work, maybe a little bit, but relatively not much since they already focus on efficiency long before. Looking at the T880, this is built on Kenworth's heavy duty truck. And heavy duty meaning this one's mainly used for like heavy hauls or more heavy duty upfits on the back like, you know, flatbed with a forklift or a crane, who knows? This one has up to 250 miles of estimated range and has uh, two, three, four, and five string configuration. 
two, three, and four are exactly the same as the, T, the T680E, while the T880E has an additional five string setup with a 625 kilowatt hour battery, or capacity, because a lot of batteries, <laughs> in a range estimated of 250 miles. This has up to, let's see, an 82,000 pound weight rating and a charge rate of 350 kilowatt, kilowatts. This one also allows you to have what we call a mid-lift, or you know, there are different terms in the trucking industry, but basically you can have a middle lifting axle as well. So if you need extra weight distribution for heavy load, you can drop the axle down and have better distribution just, just like that. And you don't need to put it right back up. Um, that's also existed for a while for trucks. I love that it's basically the same trucks we're familiar with just electrified. Similar to how I like um, pickups like the M50 Lightning, it's just a familiar truck electrified. Now let's do a quick comparison to the E Cascadia, who's been around for a little bit. Also class eight, and also the same weight rating or capacity rating, 82,000 pounds. Their typical range, um, their three specs are 155 miles, 220 miles, and 230 miles. So just a smidget below Kenworth's estimated. Similar to the Kenworth, it only comes in a day cab configuration. Makes sense, you don't really want a sleeper cab EV yet because you can't go that far. And their charging rate is 180 kilowatts with a single port or 270 kilowatts with dual port. That's where Kenworth's industry leading comes in. They're at a peak of 350. Kenworth also has a few different ADAS technologies that they've been working on for a while, even on their existing diesel trucks like the regular T680. Um, and they even have what they call the digital vision mirrors. Or they're basically, um, basically a pillar mounted screens. So you have, you know, the typical mirrors outside the cab right here and right here. On the A-pillar, between the door and the windshield, there is a screen that you can have an actual digital mirror. So it's probably eventually gonna replace the mirror, maybe, but right now it's an addition and it lets you get a little better contrast at night, um, easier to look at without moving your neck all the way over. It's a pretty good addition. Um, as someone who regularly plays truck sim and Kenworth has um, most of their major trucks in, Ken, in, in truck sim. I actually use those mirrors as well. They're pretty good. Apologies for the noise, but one qualification for these could even be garbage trucks. There's one right here picking up our trash. And this could be actually a good use for these electrified trucks. A lot quieter and they shouldn't need to go further than 200 miles. They're usually just going per neighborhood. There are already existing T880 uh, recycling trucks that drive around here, so I, I could see them adding this relatively easy to an electrified chassis. Um, other upfit options, like I said earlier, could be box trucks, flatbeds, uh, many more niche types of um, setups. Um, what I'm looking forward to is seeing how many companies will add this to their portfolio. Portfolio. Um, we already have our local county here um, implementing Lightnings and Silver Out EVs for their utilities. Um, for like work trucks and stuff, I see Lightnings, Lightning Pros all the time. Um, and I think we'll start seeing electrified, you know, service trucks, crane trucks, um, and possibly more options from there. Um, I think this will be this will be big for Kenworth. Um, I love their trucks already, and I'm hoping to see these on the road pretty soon. Uh, really quick, remember when I talked about hoping hoping that Peterbilt would bring an option as well, since they're the same they're under the same parent company, Petcar Motors. Turns out they already made one, the 579 EV. The 579 is similar to the T680, one of their flagship trucks also comes in the day cab configuration and has similar specs. Class 8, 82,000 pounds, 
of capacity. Uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. 100 to a 200 mile range as well. And 25 to 150 EPTO provisions. EPTO is huge because you can use that to essentially power equipment. Uh, I assume the uh, Chemlurst will have that as well. Um, now, interestingly, uh, apologies for the noise, the garbage truck is still doing their work. Interestingly, the 579 EV came out two years ago. So I'm wondering if we'll get a more updated version with the, you know, to kind of bring it to par to the T6A one that just came out. But we'll see. It looks like it has a similar um, battery string setup, at least from the few pictures I can get. It looks like it has the same stacked battery packs behind the cab, as well as some below the, or behind the side skirts on the side. But yeah, um, as a truck enthusiast, I love to see more electrified options for semi trucks and, um, you know, medium duty, heavy duty, light duty trucks. The more the merrier. I'm really excited to see these um, come to the road. Um, I'm surprised I haven't seen any of the uh, 579 EVs yet, but I'm sure we'll see them pop up soon along with the Kenworths. So, yeah.